So the subconscious mind really works well with pictures. And this is what a vision board is all about. It's about getting together images that are representative of what you want for, um, for your life. So you can do it whenever you want in time, but I'm doing one for 2020. Um, and I did one last year. So again, I might have to cut this video and then show you that. But um, basically, and you can do this a couple of ways. So I think most people traditionally, when they think of vision boards, they think of um, a cutout one. Actually, I have one. Let me let me show you guys. So this is this is like a, a physical one that I made, and um, this one is very personal. It's not really about um, work at all. But, um, and I think the reason why it's really personal is because of the types of magazines that I use. Um, but I made this with my niece, and you just go through magazines. Um, and ideally, like, you want to make yourself in a good, happy state. And you don't want to overthink it, but just just rip out images that speak to you, that, um, that you really like. Or you can search for things that, like, intentionally represent the things that you want. So again, this is personal, but I have things on here about like health. I have back issues, so I know squats really help me with my back issues. I want to eat better. I want to de-stress. I want to do more outdoorsy things. Um, I have brain here because I want to continue working on things like my subconscious mind. And then I always put a picture of myself too because it like tricks your brain into making the vision, the visions that you have for yourself more believable because you're mixing things in there that have already happened in your past with things that haven't happened yet in your future. And again, it's kind of like, it, like, like you can just have it in the background and sometimes I look at it, but um, it's just like a reminder and it's like an imprint on your, on your subconscious of the things that you really want. And a couple of years ago, I did a vision board and I had tigers on there because I wanted to get a grant um, for, for tiger research in India, working with kids at the time I was doing eMammal. And um, I did write a grant um, and it wasn't funded. But interestingly, like a year, I think it might just been a year later or maybe two years later, I actually did, we, we did get funding, not by me, I didn't do it. <laughs> But we did get funding, the, the Indian collaborators that I worked with, they got funding from an Indian bank, a pretty large sum of money, I think it was $100,000. And they were able to buy camera traps for schools all across um, the Western Ghats area of India. And um, we did get tigers on our camera traps. So it came true, so that's exciting. <laughs> Um, so you can do it like that. And then you can also do it like, um, like a digital vision board. And that's what I am going to show you today. But again, I don't think I don't think I can s switch over. So I might have to let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to start a new video. So um, I will get off. And then we I'll figure this out for next time. So I don't have to switch but I'm going to get off and I'm going to share my screen. So you can see how I do it. So see you in a few minutes.